Well, superheroes may not exist, but a Jackson woman is being described as one by the community. 12 News' Leah Williams introduces us to Rachel Mays, who helps organize food giveaways, water giveaways, and even educational programs. Southern Echo is a nonprofit organization that strives to empower low income communities across the state by providing resources, training, and technical assistance. Rachel Mays was named executive director in 2016, and she hasn't spent much time in the office since. She's often out in the field doing her part to live up to Southern Echo's vision. I'm just one person in Mississippi trying to do good, and um, I feel that it's my place and it's my call. Before the pandemic, Rachel spent much of her time educating people on the 2020 census and its importance. We were working across the state in 40 counties uh, that we are we had targeted at that time to make sure that people across the state in Mississippi were being counted because we know that the census impacts us as a state financially and we also know that, know that the census also feeds into the redistricting process. Once the pandemic hit, she hit the ground running, hosting food, vegetable, and PPE supply giveaways. Rachel was even invited to a White House summit on COVID-19 equity. Mississippi is a place that needs a lot when we look at the marginalized communities, when we look at the BIPOC communities. We understand and when we look at COVID and the many inequities that COVID exposed that were already there. After the 2021 ice storm and after the capital city's water system failure last year, Rachel sprang into action working with other organizations to distribute thousands of cases of water to Jacksonians. Uh, we felt the need and saw the need to provide food and water to Jacksonians and so uh, we've had great response and our hearts are warmed each time we go out and uh, engage with community. Rachel works with Jackson's youth as well. She created the Youth Empowerment for Scholars program that educates kids ages 8 to 18 in leadership development along with traditional academics. The program also helps train local educators. We educate adults at the same time we educate youth. And so in order to prepare youth to uh, understand the STEM subjects, right, and be exposed to those STEM subjects, and also to understand black history uh, and to provide exposure to youth, it's important that we take on this work and that we help them to see that they can be all that they want to be. Rachel also puts together analyses on legislative bills and political candidates to help keep the public informed. Overall, she has a passion for bettering her community that's shown through her work every single day.